Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. So in this clip, Karen, who for the record, doesn't quite seem to have all of her faculties working, tries to go to the gas station and pay with plastic. Okay, that's normal. You can pay with a credit card. Well, <laughs> that would have been okay if the credit card weren't issued by the bank of Fisher Price. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hold on. What? Let me see that. Let me see that. It said credit card LM Smart. That's that's like a goddamn toys for tigers kind of card. But listen, she trying to swipe that mother to get some uh to get some some merchandise. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to tell her to swipe it, swipe it, so you can see if you can get some up out of there. And you gonna swipe it like okay. a dumb. Can't swipe it. Do you look at that? It's a plastic card. That's a motherfucking lunch card, man. <laughs> Like and that's what I'm saying, but she dead everything is a goddamn real credit card. Man, she out of control, man. Hey, you man, you know you can't swipe that. Oh, man, what about this oh, one? Man. It's the same. Hold on, man. Hold on. Girl, are you dead serious about this credit card? There's a debit card. It's not a real card. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What did you get that from? You, you can't call nobody because that phone don't work. Call me, I told you, if you call me, I'll, I'll buy that stuff for you. What's your number? 210. Let me see, let me see the numbers on there. Let me see the numbers on there. Man, it's got Tweety Bird. Girl, girl get your about the stuff. So in this clip, Karen tries to cry cultural appropriation when a Mongolian Tapanyuki chef landed an awesome trick shot and yelled, Kobe, one time for the Black Mamba, rest in peace. But Karen was put in her place quickly, and the chef handled it perfectly. I'm from Mongolia. Watch this, my brother. Oh, okay. right. Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to for black mamba, man. R.I.P. You gotta bring the black man into this. Say what? You gotta bring the black man into this. Black man, what? And he's from my coat. Yeah, Black Mamba. Uh, that was his nickname. Yeah, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, leave him alone. No, no, no. When you're making shots, you say Kobe, because that's for him. Yeah, right? that's how Yeah, I that's what I'm saying. That's why I said one time for Black Mamba, R.I.P. Right. Like, getting it? Y'all getting it? I get it. I, I got it the first time. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's nothing salt or anything. You know I mean? So in this one, the Karens, they're not visible, but they're definitely present. So do you know what swatting is? Well, basically, swatting is a prank call where you call the cops, send them out to an address, and there's nothing going on there, but you make up a serious story to get the cops to respond in big numbers. That's exactly what happened here, but watch how dangerous the situation is. We got a call of four black males tying up an old man, kidnapping him. I don't know nothing about it. Live here, or you just keep working on it? You can knock at the door, bro. No one works here. No, some work here though. I mean, you can knock at the door if you want. Okay. okay. You no know one else called. Uh, you guys have any issues with anybody? No. 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 You said they said what? They said they saw one old male get kidnapped by four black males with guns. Bro, it's just two of us here. Yeah. No. So we want to find out where that. Did anyone leave? That. No. Okay. We're just the only. We're black, but it's two of us. We're doing gutters. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I thought. So, you know, swatting, that's what we think it is. Where they, what is that? Where they call to have a police response for something. Hey, sir. Sir, you have police here saying someone's getting kidnapped by black guys. Oh, my God. Look at this. Chris. He said someone said that four black guys were kidnapped. Yeah, so we got to call it an old male was getting kidnapped. Four black males. No. Chris. I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> Chris! 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 Take your f 
headphones off. Police said we kidnapping the, the customers. They out front, bro. Damn, bro. Got them dumb ass headphones on. Police all out front saying four black guys kidnapping the old dude. Yeah. I'm out of here, bro. That's shit, bro. I'm, I'm not even about to finish this job, bro. So in this clip, Karen is caught stealing at a Walmart, but instead of calling the cops, the staff at Walmart agreed to let Karen go. But being a total Karen, she found a way to play the victim, lie, and then expected to be able to keep the items that she stole. Come on, come on. Stuff in the back, this. Camera lady. Come on. Come on. Just be at work, man. Hey, it's all good. Got our shoes on. Listen, it's gonna be five minutes. All we give is your name. Listen, we give you a name, and we let you back off the door. It's gonna take five minutes. Oh, I just realized. No cops are being warned. You're just getting a warning. We saw everything on camera, man. I have to go to work. I can't be. Listen, you're getting the warning, and you're going right out the door. We could have been already done with this. Just go with it. How do you do anything? Come on. Just go with it. You literally have this on the only thing. No, we have, we have everything on camera. On. You what have are you shoes too. About? So we saw I don't have any shoes. shoes. These are for work. Guys. The Uber's here. That's right. Just, you want to go to jail? Do you want to call the. You I don't have any cops? shoes to wear to work. It's a 30 second thing. The just Uber. Talk to us. Just ordered an Uber. We, we, we get that. It's my first day at my first job at the Wins. You could have already been back out the door. We just giving you a warning. This is not serious at Where? all. James, James. You ma'am. You can't detain me. Ma'am. You can't be stealing. You can't be stealing, ma'am. Ma'am. Where on. is he? James. Come, come out here with me. Listen, Excuse me. We need to you steal. can't you're not allowed to do this. You're thing. not allowed to steal. Okay, I didn't. Yes, you did. What are you talking about? You wearing the Where shoes we got in the there sweaters? Is. Ma'am, what are we me. doing here? You're not allowed to do that. I know that by law. Okay, but you're not allowed to steal by law. Okay, you're you're allowed allowed steal by law. Go. Go. Out here. Just go I, I just yes, told her to wait for us. Now go yeah, with okay, her. here. Shoes, Come and I it's have to take go. Here seconds. is the shoes. You got an ID on you? You got an no, ID on you? No, I don't you. have one. Here. Here, I have to go with my Uber. I have no shoes now, dude. Go get your slippers. I need to rest of the stuff. I don't have anything else. I have to go. This is my first day. Move. You're going to miss your stuff. James, I can't. What am I going to do? Just give me the rest of the stuff out the, the stuff. first That's and you can go. James, I don't have shoes to wear to work. Listen, give me the rest of the stuff and walk out the door. Oh, my oh God. It's crazy, right? We give you Everything, the and you can just walk out the door. Here. We don't, we Here. We're going to take it off. Drop Here. it on the floor. Just take it all out. Drop it on the floor. Taking it all out. Chargers, all that all was it. it. That's all it. Look, the rest of it is mine, dude. My wallet, everything else is mine. Let me see. Take it. Those eyelashes. There. That, everything else is mine. This is all mine. This, bought here a year ago, everything else is mine. And I'm not joking. I have to go. You want to get your flip flops? You don't want to walk barefoot. Can you pick it up? God damn it, dude. Probably in that car that you got. So in this clip, Karen is getting kicked off of her flight. And while gathering her items, Karen makes some foolish parting comments. But thinking quickly on their feet, one of the passengers stated the obvious, <laughs> which put Karen firmly in her place. Hope you got what you wanted. Woo! Okay, go for it. Psycho jumps in someone Ew. else's business. I wasn't in your business. Get out of here. Off. The difference between me and you, I can afford a second flight and you can't. Ma'am, this is Southwest. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Get yourself close. What are you bragging about? I didn't choose to be on the flight. Oh, my God. So in this clip, male Karen goes way over the top with his reaction to two men ringing his doorbell that he must have forgotten to dismantle and remove from his door because he obviously hates when people ring it. How you doing, sir? Uh, what the f*** do you want? Oh, I uh, just came to see if you want Get some... Get the f*** out of here, you sons of bitch. Oh, whoa. Get the f*** off my property right oh, now. What's going on? Get out of here. Okay. I don't want your f***ing service. Easy. Damn, get the f*** out of here. 
Yeah, easy, not a brother. Skin, sir. Easy. Get out. Easy. Okay. Hey, we're leaving. Kiss now, mother. Sir. Hey, no use, need to use profanity, brother. I was just leaving by. Yeah. Now. We will, sir. Get off of my property, you sons of okay. What is we're wrong going. with you? We're going. You mother. Hey. Trespassing. Get the not out of here now. At all. Dude, Go. Okay. Have a good day. Don't Holy come shit. back here, you mother. It's in your Cheerios, huh? Eat me, Please. mother. Eat you? I would never eat you. I bet my ass. Oh, oh, I bet oh, it tastes oh, like oh. shit. Ugh. You are disgusting. Oh, I feel, I feel bad for your wife, sir. Wow. Wow. So in this clip, male Karen is having a hissy fit at an airport, which is a terrible idea because United Airlines isn't including a meal with his flight because he decided to upgrade his flight last minute and they didn't have the meal for him. But I guess the silver lining is that he's not going to miss his in-flight meal because he's not getting on that flight. I am, I am just, I am a uh, regular traveler like everybody else, but I decided because of an injuries that I'm going to take a nine and a half hour flight to Amsterdam, and I'm going to pay the extra thousand dollars. And all I want to do is get a meal between me, like everybody else. You can take care of me, you can take care of me wherever you want. But I mean, am I under arrest? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Who are you anyway? You're assistant manager of customer service at United? I would love for you to be on Fox News. Yeah, I would love for you to talk to me right now because why do you think that one of your one of your flight attendants is able to decide that I don't get to be treated like everybody else? I would love to talk to him, but I don't see why he has to usher me off from somewhere else. If it's, I, I, I love you. I'm trying to get the love for you. No, but see, what's happening now is he's there. He's a United Airlines marketing person, and I'm a United Airlines customer. And I don't like the way your airline treated me, so why should I be? Why should I? It wasn't him, but he is telling me to go off and be private to talk to someone. He's talking to talk into to it, right? somewhere else when we've got a lot of United customers. What is that spot? And maybe they would be interested to find out what it's like for $5,000 extra per flight from the continental United States to the Netherlands for $1,000. So in this clip, a woman accuses her boyfriend of cheating on her because apparently he's been talking to his ex. Coincidentally, he takes his frustrations out on the ex. And by ex, I mean the Xbox. There it goes. There's my Xbox. I wasn't cheating on you, that's a lie. No, you told me you talked to Raven. I wasn't cheating on you. You told me you were talking to Raven, your ex. You just broke my Xbox. All right, and he's breaking that too. So this next clip, it's actually full of Karens. So here's what's happening. A Jiffy Lube customer was quoted $399 for service. And he has that quote on his phone, which somehow Jiffy Lube is in possession of. So now they're telling him that he owes $894. And to make matters worse, they called the police officer and to make matters worse, the police officer is automatically siding with Jiffy Lube without looking at all of the evidence. Okay. Are you going to pay the amount that's due? I'm going to pay what I was quoted on the phone. Where's my phone at? So, I haven't gotten the phone yet. So here's the thing. Um, okay, I'm you talking to you now. Home. Excuse me. Where's my phone you, at? You left 
You took the keys and you left without paying. I didn't take the keys. He gave me the keys. The person that worked on the vehicle gave me the keys. He gave you the keys? Yes, ma'am. They weren't here on the desk? No, they were not. Manager? Which employee? The um the dude that was here with you. Chris, the, the, oh, Chris, Chris yeah. he's, he's, okay. he's gone for the day. He's gone for the day? Okay. That was the last thing he did. It was a great job. Okay. Do you have a cell phone number? Yeah. So back to my property. Because I have the video on my on that phone. Where's my phone at? Sir, hmm? I'm talking to you. Where's my phone? I'm gonna wait till she's done. I'm talking to you. You I have my property. Where is my phone? I'm, I'm waiting for her. What's your name and badge number, ma'am? Officer Stevens, 1796. Thank you. What's your name, sir? Okay. Are Where's gonna, my phone? Are you gonna pay the amount that's due? I need my property. I'm asking you a question. Are you going to pay the eight hundred seventy-four dollars and fifteen cents? That's not what I was quoted, so and I have proof that's that that's not what I was quoted. Between you and the business, I understand that. What is due today is the eight hundred seventy-four dollars and fifteen cents for the work that was done. That's not what I was quoted. Okay, that's under between you and the business. I understand that. Where's the my work property? Was though? done, and this is what is what is owed. What is where's my property? <laughs> That's wherever you left it. If they have it right now, I need to see if you're going to pay this. No, I'm not going to pay that. I'm going to okay. pay what I was quoted, like I told him before I left. Okay. Now, if they don't want to give me the price of what I was quoted, which is more than double what I have other quotes for, and I have it on that other phone, so I need that property. Now, you have my property. I don't care what's going on with this. That has nothing to do with my property that you are in possession of. Yeah, my property is the banks and voters. Give my phone. Look up my thing. Look how many times I did business with y'all. I understand. But look I'm up my record and my look how many times I did business with y'all. You, I wouldn't have been here if I didn't get quoted that price. I understand. I know. I understand. That, that is not on me that's if I was misquoted. I had nothing to do with it's your employee. It's your employee. It's your employee. Look at my record. How many times I did business with you guys? That's why I came up here. But I got the other quotes on that phone. I have the video of him telling me that on that phone. So I need that phone, sir, right now. That has nothing to do with this. That so has this nothing to do with this. I'm here and this is what I'm I understand that, but he problem. has my property, ma'am, and it belongs to me. So, so you are not the judge, you are not the jury, you are not the executioner. His property, my property, is in his possession. And you know that. So right and now, I want my property right because my now, property proves what I'm telling you right now. That has to do with what we're doing right now. So, so he can give me my phone and then I'll talk to you. Other than that, I'm not going to say nothing. So in this clip, Walmart Karen warns a woman who was stealing that there's a man stalking her. Well, it turns out that the so-called stalker was a man who worked in asset protection for Walmart. But Karen still, to the end, could not understand that he was not stalking that woman. He was simply doing his job. Your job's to follow people. He mad because I told this girl he was following him around the store, hiding behind boxes and shit. Come at me, Crooked. He's following this girl when I told her. Can you tell her to start recording me? I'm asset protection, please. You just saying let you do your job. Your job. Just, I told this asset protection. That's my job. She didn't know you was following her. She didn't need to. You didn't have to tell her. I'm going to tell somebody somebody followed her. I'm going to look out to you. All right, well, you, your job's not to follow people. That's creepy. That's creepy. He had him behind boxes following somebody, so I told him. Oh, he mad now. Don't be following people. And don't come at me because I'm not the one. Or the two or the three. Don't be following people. Oh. Yeah, no, I told him to tell a manager. He said, hi. Right, man. Are you standing up here for this and I was in the front Huh? You were just cussing about you not the one, the two, or the three. You still recording this? Yeah. So you got yourself on your center? What does that mean? So the, all the police right now, how are you going to split? What do you mean by you not He the just one, came and three? threatened me. How do you threaten me? He told me not to be recording him, that, that not to you? tell somebody that I'm following him. So I'm not supposed to let this girl know. So, ma'am, I'm not sure if you, if you know this or not, but we get a lot of theft. People steal from us. Yeah. And the, the idea is to catch them stealing not to just let them steal be like hey watch out somebody's yeah no so if he's with y'all Seth he's being really weird about it he's hiding behind boxes and doing like this and just following her around the whole store yes ma'am so if I was going to steal something yeah right, and I see somebody watching me I'm probably going to stop 
So if he's a theft, then okay. Well, but it's, as a female, I'm gonna right. let another female know that somebody's following them, and that's perfectly okay. Yeah, and I don't know why y'all started arguing. No, he got mad because I told the girl. And I, and I, and I did. That's why he don't need to come up yelling at me because no. Yeah, no, no, no. But that's what I'm saying. I'm not the one to come yelling at. Yeah, I just take it. I mean, they can. Yeah, they can take it how they want it. But he's sitting there following her. And if that's y'all threat, that's y'all staff protection. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. That's. How would you handle it? Just let people walk out the door? No, not sit there and hide behind boxes and this. The whole he looks like a creep. So you can see where I think he's a creep. Well, that's because you don't see it from the point of view. Like I'm sure, like when the police do stings and stuff, they don't just sit out. No, but I'm. Clothes. But okay, but do you get, hide behind those Are you really things? arguing with me for letting a female know that some dude was following her? No, I'm arguing because you're pissing on the front end, saying you're not the one. Because that dude just came up and yelled at me. And if he works for y'all, then he should not be yelling at me, right? For telling somebody. I no, mean, yeah. I'm so confused right now. Right. Are you done? Um. Uh, are you? I guess. But it's just like that's crazy. Yeah, it's definitely recorded, and that's y'all's fair protection. Y'all need to hire somebody else. Some dude following a girl around the store hiding, I'm going to say. So in this clip, caring customer is trying to go half on a pack of cigarettes with her friend, and apparently neither Karen or the cashier are sophisticated enough to get the transaction done. It's just far too complex. Karen, this could have been avoided with a Fisher Price bank card. Ten bucks sitting in front of yeah. her right now. That's Here more than the five dollars. I have to have the cigarettes to scan again, and then you have to give me the cash, and then you have to scan your card. And how hey, you're weird? I, what are you talking about? That's what? how you do split payment. No, you. She owes a dollar. I owe a dollar. She, 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 she oh my gosh. And you got ten bucks sitting right card. there. I have to scan the cigarettes again. No, because then it's going to show the shit. No, it's not. No, it's not. Give me the damn cigarettes. I scan the cigarettes. If you don't have enough money on your card, you pay that part first. So when you scan and you the cigarettes again. Card. No, you're not. Yes, here. it is. We'll see it for the cops because you look like a fool and I'm calling corporate on your ass. I'm the store the manager. Time, and, yeah, and you've done this shit before. No, yeah, I haven't. Last time, no. last time, you acted complete, like complete. Okay. Well, really rude when we were here last time. Well, you can this go on and go. This doesn't have anything no, to do with you. No, yes, do. it does. This is my worker and you're holding I me mean, up. Then she needs to pay for it. No. You're, you got $10. Let's go through. No, it didn't go okay, through. let's say it didn't go through. You're sitting there with ten dollars. I in front have of to you. scan the product again. You want to hand you it to me? Product on the back shelf. That's what I told her. Get out of my store. <laughs> You're weird. Get out of my store. <laughs> You're psycho, dude. Yeah. I'm making sure to call on you. You go right ahead. I need the cigarettes so I can scan them again. It's going off my register. I'll wait for the officer. Oh my god. Because you still would like to just pay for my water so that I can go and... This already happened to me. The same exact amount. $4.32 and I got charged twice. I mean, at least you learned from it. Yeah, well... You have to pay the cash first. It ain't illegal, to get, an officer. It ain't illegal to get an officer down here to take care of things. Even if not, Why many? just in case. Mm -hmm. So in this clip, a woman claims that she was given a fake $10 bill as change from this store, so now she's returned to the store to spend her funny money. But what happens next actually gives me hope that there is still a lot of good in this world to counteract all the Karens out there. You guys gave me a fake $10 bill, and I was here wait like 5,000 hours earlier. I'm trying to buy food. They won't accept my bill because apparently it's fake and I got it from here. This was around like 5 o'clock. So yeah, I'm really pissed off because it's my last bit of money and I went to buy a drink and now I, you give me a fake bill and now no one will accept it. I came right here. So in this clip, a man confronts his Karen neighbors for playing their music too loudly at 
30 in the morning. But as you see, <laughs> the neighbor did not <laughs> take too kindly to his request. So it's 8 30 in the morning, and these guys got music blasting. Yeah. I mean, it's just rude. Hey, just turn your music down. Just turn it down. Hey, my miss, I thought he heard it. What, what, what the hell wrong with you? What the hell wrong with you? Touch me. Touch me. What the fuck? I need to touch you. There's nothing. You're dirty. You know what? I'm dirty. I'm dirty. I'm dirty. I'm dirty. Yeah. 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 Turn, just turn the music down. It's you more. want to put me go out? Just turn your music down. You know it's what? It's my music. Hey, Tony, you ready? It's what? Yeah. What? What? what is your problem? Just, just turn the music what? down. That's hey, all. Man, it's 8.30 already. I, I it's not loud. I can hear it it's in some of Let me over here. Go inside. What the f*** is with you? And your dirty head? You go inside. Hey, hey Tony, man. What's wrong with music? You know, you, you were the uh, one to hear your music, your country music. Go inside. It's just not. They go inside. What the f*** is wrong with you? We always outside. What the f*** is wrong with me? Nothing uh, wrong with me. What is wrong with you? Just turn your music down. You had a lot of no. wrong. No. You know, the, 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 hey, the, the, the people like you, huh? it's dirty, you know what? Dirty. No, I think Chemical Agent Orange has gotten to your head there. Truck. Just turn your music down, man. I mean, the, turn it down and it's not an issue. Okay? Just turn it down. Just turn the music down. Be respectful, neighbors. Turn the music down. We don't turn down. That's it. All right. Smile. Have a good day. So, in this one, Karen starts harassing people in a horse and carriage because Karen says that the horse looks skinny and malnourished. Of course, <laughs> Karen's judgment could be tainted by the fact that she appears to be drunk as a skunk. License 42. Ma'am, do not talk to my carriage. Ma'am, do not talk to my carriage. Do not talk to my carriage. Do not talk to my carriage. Those people are Bullshit. nothing to you. Listen, the, the animals are starving. You're hurting. The animals are not starving. I work for the animal uh, society. Me. We're hungry and starving. Excuse These animals me. are delicious. Excuse me. Yeah, do you get your money? Are you getting your money from this? Ma'am, yeah. have you had a lot to drink today? Listen, oh no, no, no. Listen, I work for the Charleston Animal Society. I'm and we're coming after the name? horses. What's your name? Hey, I got you, I got you. Can I go? Yeah, okay? Go yeah, you go, but you know what? Bless you your heart. Your Step up. You Come live on. tonight with your you conscience. Did. Yeah. What's your name? Don't swing at me. Don't Do not swing at me. Do not swing at me. Don't touch me. If you touch me, I'm coming after you with the law. Yes, ma'am. I'm not... Stay away from the carriage. Stay away from the carriage. Stay away from the carriage. Stay away from. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Stay away from the carriage. 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 So in this clip, these Karens think that the neighbor's fence is on their property, so they decide to do something about it. The only problem is I don't think they actually ever checked the survey because the neighbor sounds very, very confident that that's his fence on his property. And oh yeah, he actually has the survey. Well, you don't get a lawyer, get the papers and come and do it like a, like a right. Lawyer, lawyer. Not the way that you want. Lawyer, lawyer. I don't need a lawyer. You need a lawyer. You have to talk and come with the paper. Lawyer, lawyer. Come with the survey. You have your survey? You have your survey? You even have a survey you doing this stuff. How do you know I, I, get, I don't have a get your survey. You? Get the points and then you do it. Don't. How? Okay, bring the super food, make the mark. Where is your 
We have the survey. Show me. Well, show, show, show me. me show me yours and I'll show you mine. And then you go on there. Why you Why have you to do this? Hey, you don't, you don't have to yell. B, hey, you don't have to yell. You don't have, you don't have to yell. What uh, principle is you yelling? You yelling. Why I have to call police? I don't need it. I don't need to call the police, okay? Police. I don't have to. I don't need it. I don't need it, okay? Call police, okay? So in this one, a customer of a pizza place gets into it with a worker from that pizza place over what I am 100% certain is trivial nonsense. But what's hilarious is just how out of touch this customer is with modern day technology and dialect. <laughs> You're going to see exactly what I mean. Why don't you have a God bless day? I, I do have a God bless day. Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you on drugs? Are you on drugs? I'm eating my food, having a good time. Are you okay? Well, why are you videotaping? Because why are you acting like a, you know what? What? Tell me. I come and eat a pizza. So that's what I'm doing. You sit on your phone. Bye. 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 Bye, Karen. Bye, Karen. Bye, Karen. Bye. You want to agitate some Bye. You need to do it. Bye. Bye. I am. Goodbye. Agitating. You ass. Watch put it on FaceTime, too. Sit there, put your tongue out. Bye. That's why people. Bye, Karen. This we have Karen like this guy. Look at this. He's a Karen. He's a Karen. What's a Karen? He's a Karen. What do you need to kick? What are you going to do? You know that a customer was treated poorly. When the male Karen employee who treated them poorly runs out to their car <laughs> to apologize and won't let them leave. Now this man is chasing my car to get me to try to come and take this sandwich and I don't want it. Yes, sir. I, I don't want the sandwich. I have never been treated like that a day in my life. I'm going to contact corporate. You, yes. You're okay. You contact Congress. No problem. No. no have problem. a good day, but sir. I'm sorry. You take it's okay. Sandwich. Have a good day, sir. You take your sandwich. I don't want the sandwich. I'm going to go to another subway. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. I don't want to run over your feet. Please back away from my car. I say I am sorry, okay? I don't. I'm still contacting corporate. I have never been treated like that a day in my life, ever. Especially over a subway sandwich. I followed the rules. No, no, no. I provided you the... It's okay, sir. Please back up. I Please am, back away from I my car. Try to understand. I am working here, okay? I understand and that. And I understand more... that you may have difficult customers, but I was very respectful. I articulated myself very well, and I was not rude. I'm going to contact corporate. Please enjoy the rest you of your want day. To contact. No okay. Problem. I have no problem. Okay, okay, bye. So, in this clip, Karen racks up a $140 tab and then tries to dine and dash. Her excuse? Well, she realized that her bag was missing and had to go outside to find it. Once you watch this clip, let me know what you think. Was this a Karen who tried to skip the bill? Or was she really looking for a bag so that she could come back and pay? When I asked you to pay, you started to try to run out the door. And then, and then, and then, and, and, and then we stopped you. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll, I'll put that up right next to this video of you trying of you, of, of, of you trying to run out. So you tried to run real quick, Sarah. And you didn't even say anything about, like, I've lost yeah. my phone, I've lost my my wallet, I've lost the, my satchel, I've lost this and that. Uh, how come you didn't say that at the very beginning? Why did you try to run, Sarah? Why did you try to run out my front door when we asked you to pay your $140 tab? I do this all day, by the way, just so you know. Yeah. But I, why, why did you try to run, Sarah? No, I'm just asking questions, Sarah. While we're waiting for the police to come, to come try to like see what your deal is, I don't, I don't really and, and and hopefully, hopefully get the hundred forty dollars that you owe my establishment and my server because she has she's got a a restaurant tab of the sushi and the sake that you're drinking totaling one hundred forty dollars. Hey, how you doing, sir? Uh, Dana is the is my server. Yeah, I'm my Kyle. I'm the owner here. She's been here just on this side of the deck for about five hours. She's got a hundred forty dollar tab. 
When we asked her to pay, she tried to run out the front door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she refuses to pay, but she'd like to talk to you because that's the reason why she decided to do that. And so thank you for being here so, so, so fast. I appreciate it. So Sarah here, is, if that's her name, but we would like to have her pay her tab and then whatever. Um, and then her be on her way. my backpack too. They yeah. stole my backpack. Yeah. Well, uh, one of the customers. No. Yes. I don't no. have No. So we have half of your stuff because when you decided to run, you, you, had, you run. had this bag. And then we detained you, and now the police are here. I did not so, guys. but let me get my server and, and get, get all your stuff. You know, you just need to do what you're gonna do, okay? So. so uh, do you have your ID on it? Okay, the police are here, and do uh, you want to show me a copy of the tab? Okay, so, yeah, you, you ran up a tent. Yeah, and I didn't know my wallet or my phone was still on. Okay, so, but officer, real quick, so just I'm so I'm at the, I'm at, I'm at the, I'm at the front desk, out. and when we asked her to, she didn't say anything like, about anything getting sold in, or she came in here or with nothing. She just tried to run. But why and, are you and so, I ran? Because I didn't know. Well, I literally, the yeah. Yes. I didn't want to like walk out on them, but I lost my shit, so I'm freaking out. You, That's a lie. Yeah, so. no, you. It just. Why would that be a lie? I, I, I was just. She had to catch up, and she tried to. It wasn't necessarily a walk. It was she was she was going for the door. She was going for. Okay, so for this clip, I need you to be the judge to help me to figure out who the Karen is. So what's happening is. A woman's Acura was in an accident, and she made a deal with a dealership to trade it in. However, <laughs> now the woman is upset because the dealership is keeping her custom rims that she paid $1,500 for. Now, I need you to put on your Judge Judy hat and let me know, how would you rule in this case? I don't have the car still. I'm still fixing the car mm -hmm. that I don't have until now. I took care of the whole thing for you. Called Acura, pushed Acura, got a personal favor to get this deal done. I lost mm -hmm. thousands of dollars on that transaction. The picture that I received from the body shop was with the wheels and tires. I'm not removing anything. Okay, well, we never discussed you keeping my rims and you tires either. You never discussed either. that you need the wheels back. Why would I not need my Ma customized rims deal. and tires? I would not made that deal. You would have not made the deal had you known I not had yes, your original tire. Well, maybe you should have told me that because that sounds like some kind of deceit. Ma'am, you saw clear. my tires. You saw my car it had custom wheels and tires on it, and you made the decision to yourself that you didn't even tell me. Oh well, this is including your rims and tires because I would have said no. Since when cars don't come with wheels and tires? I have your wheels and tires, your original ones that are at the shop mine. right you now. Traded the car with the wheels and tires on it that was on the. So body the tires car. that came on the car, okay. your stock tires, are in the in the possession of this collision center right now, okay. and they've been there for the past two weeks. Do and you you're want, telling me that I can't get I my that I anything. paid for. The car is okay, so how does stealing work? Because at this point, you're stealing from you me. You can do whatever you like to do, and I'm not gonna appreciate you stuff words because we went no it is everything. you didn't go above and beyond anything yes, you at the end of the day i'm the one who got it in all of this you're telling me that something i paid them their fifteen hundred dollars for that you're going to try and keep because you saw a you picture you're, you're being deceitful Amount. you saw a picture of what was on my car okay. and decided you were going to keep them this and not is, tell anything to me our trade and not tell trade. anything to me How so what there was a dash cam in there you're going to keep my dash cam too what dash cam you, exactly. What the All the stuff that was in my uh, car. I had a whole... It's personal items inside your car. Which are my rims and tires. No, ma'am. Yes, they are. Ma'am, I apologize, but... No, there is no apologizing. You're giving me my stuff. I'm not. Yes, you are. Okay. All right. You don't keep playing with me. On this clip, Karen fangirls all over a musician who's actually quite polite and quite nice to Karen when she approaches him. But... When Karen asks for a picture, he says no. That's his right. However, that set Karen off and she went on a ridiculous tirade, making a complete 
fool of herself, and better yet, she's the one recording the whole fiasco, claiming to be the victim. Her up and say hi real quick. Uh, I got you. It's you people that made me what I am now. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You Really? Wow. Nice thermal Thank you. You just lost the fan. No, you don't want to take a picture? And now I'm going to give this to TMZ. That's rotten. Your fan wants a picture with you and you don't take a picture. Maybe you shouldn't go out in public. Maybe people like me shouldn't protect people like you. What a dick you are. Hey, Harley. You should put this one on. I'm going to give it straight to TMZ. What a d Now I want to incite. Who the f*** doesn't take pictures with their fans? I, I have been working with bands for 15 years. I've never had someone have the audacity to say that to me. And what am I in security uniform? What do I do? Protect these people. What the f*** for? Sorry, you'll have to bleep that out, TMZ. Oh, I just love this. No, and now, see this now, it's where I'm going to have fun. <laughs> what the hell are you doing in public? If you don't want to take pictures of people, what am I doing in public? I'm protecting your kind, but you don't even have the respect. You don't even have the respect to take a photo with your fan. I would like a photo with him, but he is too arrogant to take one with his fans. I mean, you shouldn't go out in public then. You, you speak for him, huh? Yeah, I, I can see that. She wears the pants. I don't need to say it again. Oh, f you. That's good. TMZ. Ugly. You're old as hell. You're old as hell. You're old as hell. You think that you're young. More plastic surgery. More plastic surgery. They're going to love this. TMZ's going to love this. So this is what it looks like when you have so little to do and so much time to do it. Karen neighbors are having a dispute over, what else? Petty nonsense. But if you listen closely to how these people talk, you might get the sense that they have some more serious issues. Different food stamp while I'm so services, and you're gonna sue so social security for I don't give you disability in that. We get anything from the government. I get nothing from the government. Yeah, lying. I get nothing from the government. Rick, just leave them there, cause they're all going back up. We're gonna figure this out. Do you get Social Security? You will figure all this We're out. We're freaking retired. I get my pension from the hospital. And I work part-time. In the medical hospital? Okay. I have more education than you two put together, trust me. Uh, you think you know? Who cares? You're Don't make up Because I am not. I didn't pay all this money. Six years we've been here. We're not going to have the, so, somebody that's not even been here five months. Well, you know, as I said to Mary in a text, there has to be a reason why you've had five tenants in this apartment. Not us. us. Not us. There has to be a reason this why people is. don't stay in this apartment, and I know why, trust this, me. This is possessed, number one. Number oh, two. okay. This is... You know, Deborah, if you could talk to civilize, this place has been possessed. Oh, okay. We did when we moved in, Tori and Alan were there. They were black. And they we never see them. Two jobs apiece. Actually, and, don't have to move this. this wait. Is grass. Okay, listen, Rick. So when we did what we did is we asked them if they wanted to share the plowing in the driveway in that. So we did. And he was grateful. He shared the rock salt. We got shovels. We did everything together. He didn't do much because they worked a lot. She got pregnant, had a baby. Her grandmother died. He got had fight with his wife coming at the front door and all this other crap. And then, that they moved because her grandmother died and left the house. Then we had Jan. We had this 
I have no use for people that sit and make derogatory remarks towards me. And on Palm Sunday, you all ruined my Easter, you ruined my Palm Sunday, you ruined everything. So you can How suck you it. You ruined that. No, we didn't, you did. How, how did I so in this clip, a man finds Karen's wallet and brings it to her address. At first, Karen was very thankful, but then <laughs> once she sees that the money that was in it is missing, she had the nerve to accuse this good Samaritan of stealing the money. Hi, hello. Who is it? Hi, uh, are you Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Yeah, I uh, found this in town. I think this belongs to you. God. Yeah. It was just uh, on the floor, so I thought, you know, Pete Ford and all that stuff, so bring it back to find oh your address. God, thank you so much. Where well, did you find it? It's just in town, under a bench. Oh, God, I'm so... Oh, I've been, do you know, I've been looking for this for the last hour. Thank you so much. That's all right. I'm, all seriously, right. I'm really appreciative. Here, all right, no worries. Here, let me just get, let me give you some... What? No, 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 that's all right. I don't want anything. Just thought I'd just bring it by, that's all. You're on the way past, so... Where's the money that was in it? Um, there should be a 50 quid note in it. I've no idea. I've not looked through it apart from well, finding There was 50 quid. There was the 50 details. quid in, in this, because I needed it for my shopping. What yeah. have you done with it? What? what have you done with it? Well, well, well I, I haven't done anything. I've not been through... It was well, empty. Okay, you brought my back my credit cards. Where's the 50 quid? Is oh, it in your pocket? I, no, it's not in my just pocket. Just turn your pocket out. That's, Is that what you I just think, put your hand listen, in your pocket listen. For? I think you need to calm down. Uh, don't you tell listen. me to calm down. Whoa, whoa, listen. I've brought your wallet back for you. There was nothing in there, okay? Yeah, you're right. There's nothing in there because you've taken it out. Look, listen. Just you listen. cheeky sod. John! Whoa, 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 No, down. listen, listen. Just, just John! Oi! Just calm don't down. Don't you oi me. Don't you oi me. My shopping was in there. What am I going to do now? Let me just tell you. I found it, right? Your cards were in there. And that was it. There was nothing else. I don't, do you there think was, I'm going to believe a word you said? John! There was no, there was no cash. Down here. There was no cash in Have there. Have you come off that estate? There was no coins. I don't recognise your face. Listen, the only thing that were in there were cards, right? That's well, it. Right, well, we'll soon see about this. W what's your name? Well, I'm not giving you my name. Why not? Oh, 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 I forgot, because you were... Hang on, I'm doing you, you a favour. I've, I've helped yeah. you out. I've brought you back your wallet, all right? You brought me back a... Empty wallet, you silly sod! This is, God, this, is down this is ridiculous. Sort you right, out. I'm, I'm going. Oh I'm, yeah, I'm going. oh yeah, run off and rob somebody else. I would. You. Is this is this what you do when Go people on. help you out? Right, then? That's it. That's it. I'm getting my dog as well. There it's. Well, that went well. Jesus. So, like I said in the past. Karens are like criminals. They look for access and opportunities to Karen. So in this clip, bored and nosy Karen knocks on a window of a parked car, which is holding the mother and her daughter. So now Karen is calling the cops because she says that the child is passed out in the backseat and in distress. But as you'll see... Karen just needs some thicker glasses and to mind her own business. It's none of your business that your child is in pain. She's not in pain. She's sleeping in her car seat. What are you doing? Tell everyone what you're doing. Tell everyone what you're doing. There's a child here in the car at the PetSmart parking lot. And the car door is locked, and the sun is kind of beating right on the baby's face in the back seat. Still in a little car seat. I don't know how old she is. I'm in the car with her. No, you're not. You're out here yelling at me. I was in the car with her, you f She's calling the cops on me. Because she said she said the baby's in pain. She said Elsie's in pain. Was she? 
Because she's sleeping in the sun, she said. No, she's outside. It's okay yeah, because he's here now? No, because he's acting sane. You're because I was minding my own me. business sitting in my What's car. Don't worry, right? No, she's like, okay, let me talk to the father, please. You hear this? I walked up here to get in my car and I saw how the baby is there. Yeah. Yeah, what's wrong with that? It just looked, I didn't know if anybody was in the car for one thing. So I was for. concerned. You saw me sitting there and then you I told did. me. Okay, one of us at a time. No. This is not your business. I am yes, sitting in the car. It is my business when, in the air can- when I mistakenly think the child was in distress. Okay, so you made a How mistake. How is she in distress? She just went right okay. off on it. So can we just make a mistake and we can leave? Yes, I okay, can bye. say she's okay, okay. now. Okay. Oh, now, that, now she's absolutely. okay because my white husband is here? I can't even tell he's white. He doesn't have a face I can see. Really? Oh, oh really? You can't tell? Okay. I you? Okay. What's the matter with you? Why don't you mind your own business? Because any time I'm out in public, someone's got to say something now. She is not in distress. I am sitting I in know, the car I with her. She's not, but I didn't you knew, know you when knew, I saw her. You knew the air conditioning was on. And to see yes, her. you did. You knew I was sitting in the car with the air conditioning on. No, I think it is. Look, she's apologizing to you. child appears to be in this. I didn't know. I looked to see. Can you just explain to me what looks distressed? Well, well, for one thing, she's kind of passed out. The sun's beating on her. She's asleep. And, and I didn't her see face is in the shade. You would you stop? No, over. get in your car and mind your own business. And I can't come all the way up here to see there was someone there. Yeah. No, I no. Nicely, then she knocked on the window and told me. I very nicely tried to say to her, "Oh, I saw your baby back there. Did you know that the sun was beating directly on the baby's mm-hmm. face?" And she just looked at me like, what, what, what? And she was just, then she just started getting really nasty. Oh, yeah. And I just, I mean, look, that's all I was I, sitting I in the car, in the air conditioning with her, and you knew it. I couldn't tell. And then I you said you were going to call the cops. And then I, but no, you knew it oh, when you knocked no, on the window. She called the police? She yeah. called the cops. With her sitting in the car? Yes, she, she did. She was in the car. She was out here threatening me. Well, she was in the car when you came up, right? You knocked, right. You knocked on the yeah. window. Because she's threatening to beat the sh- I never said that. I never, I never said that. You deserve that child to be injured. Wow. And you probably do injure it. Oh, yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, you do. Look at you. So in this clip, Karen failed to turn her car off before she started pumping gas. So the store manager confronted her because, why? It's dangerous, Karen. But now, Karen is going berserk on the store manager and she's recording herself being a total Karen. She's a black female. I'm 5'6". Yeah, I'm 5'6". Thank you for guessing my height. You have no respect. None. Mm, no respect. You couldn't ask me nicely. Don't yell at me. I'm not, you're not my father. And you're definitely not my man. I don't know if your wife didn't f- the way how you came at me this morning, but you have no right to talk to me that way. Okay? I'm giving you a taste of your medicine and now you want to act like a real victim? She's wearing a dark uh, gray jacket. Describe me all you want! With, uh, Describe me all you want! You have no respect! Ar- like army pants? Yeah, army pants. Anybody could change clothing. I'm actually talking to the police here. Go ahead and talk to them! Sure. Go ahead! I can help you. Get it with I did the I can see one thing. I don't have the key for it. Oh, I don't have the key. I already told my so friend about you, and you're very disrespectful. We're yeah. very disrespectful. Trying to fuel for her vehicle, we're leaving her vehicle on. I asked her a bunch of times. No, 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 no. I came inside, halted the pump manually for her. So you don't have it. Can you no. use the washroom? You gotta use the motors and windows, my friend. Uh, she came inside. Call the police and act like a victim. I don't care. Yelling. You are very, very dis. You were yelling at me this morning the same way I told her voice. Punk. And then this is what I got from her. And then I, I, I actually. No, 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 no. I, you didn't get this. I came back to teach you a lesson, punk. So now she's here trying to. Don't talk to me. You're not my father. She's trying to prove here. You could have asked me nicely, and I will be reporting you to that manager. My friend already told me about you. You did the same to him. I actually, I actually advise you to do to go ahead and complain about me. You said you're the manager. Yeah, go ahead. And, and you're not the manager. You're a liar too. You have no customer service, and you have no right to speak to me that way. I was in uniform, by the way. Now I'm back. Now what? I'm not talking to her. I'm talking to you because you're racist. You are racist. You are racist. Okay, what? Move. You're ra- don't move. tell me to. F- don't put your hand in my face you're either. Not what? Not welcome. That's what you said to me this morning. Yeah, you're not yeah. welcome. You said that to me this exactly. 
Really? You're not welcome, girl. That's why you said. Don't tell me to. Come from behind her. Come from behind her. You don't have to sit and threaten me. Just get out. Who threatened me this morning? I didn't. I asked yes, you to leave. No, I you did you not. I said you're not welcome. Why was I not welcome because here? Because you're acting like this. No, I was not. You told me I'm not welcome because you didn't you want me to put security guard in you know. uniform. You didn't want to pump gas. That's exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're, just, you're very discriminative. So in this clip, male Karen, who is a convicted felon, is living with his 80-something-year-old parents and is getting into it with a neighbor. It looks like he's ready to violate his probation, probably because he's sick of living with his 80-something-year-old parents. Ma, you're driving me nuts! By the way, I'm a convicted oh, felon. You know, go sit down. Just in case you want to know, I'm a convicted felon. So let's just get that oh. out. Yeah, get oh, it out in open court. Is that a threat? No, I'm just telling you I'm a felon okay. before it comes up in so, court. So why are you telling us I'm that? I'm just telling you. I'm just so why? You know. Why is it necessary? No, there's no reason. It's going to come out in court anyway. Convicted anyways. felon. Shut yeah, up. I am. And you think I'm Five scared? Years. I, no, I'm just You think I'm scared? No, I'm not, I'm so not asking why, if you're scared. Why are you telling me that? I'm not. Because you're going to come here and threaten my parents so, who are 82 years so old. So why are you telling problems. me that? Yeah, we're going to have problems. You told me that. You told me that. You're not doing that. You're not doing that. They're ignorant. They're ignorant. Come on, Scott. Back off. Let these people go. Do me a favor. Go right there. Okay, now watch this. Okay. Come on. I've never harassed you. Come on. Never. And you know it. Come on. 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 This next clip takes place right outside the door of a Domino's Pizza, and I think it is the direct result of a misunderstanding. You see, the customer ordered a pizza, and then they asked for chili flakes. The Domino's worker said, I don't have any up here, but let me check in the back for those chili flakes. Well, the customer somehow thought he, the Domino's worker said no, and the whole thing escalated before the guy could even check if they had chili flakes. Oh, nah. Before the guy even had a chance to go in the back and check for chili flakes. Get out of my store. But I want to use the washroom. No, you're not welcome you in my store. You just wanted a chili flakes and you're not giving us a chili flakes. There's Wait, a video. I and never said that I was giving you guys chili. Well, you told me. I'm not going to Yeah, then please flakes. give us the chili flakes. I said I was for more chili flakes. Okay, please get out of my store. Give us the chili flakes and there's get a video and that is going to Can get I... on the Twitter you tomorrow. Want to want... Okay, guys. You want to check right? chili flakes? Get out of my store. You want to check chili flakes? Are you giving us the chili flakes? Okay. Are you giving us the chili flakes or not? Okay, give them pizza back. Get out of my store. I want my money back. I don't want your pizza. Give them pizza back. We don't need pizza. I need this one. Give me my money back. You guys are welcome here. You're, you okay, okay. I don't wanna, yeah, yeah, just ask you for a chili flex and like you cannot give us a chili flex like this. So I want my money man. back, man. No, you guys are hostile for no reason. I want my money back. No. I don't want to eat your pizza because no. this is not a good customer service of the store. I wasn't doing it. I have been the customer for a long time. That's you are the first guy who's talking. We are just asking for I'm simply not talking more rude. five to six chili flex, man. Like why are you getting annoyed with that? I had up front and I was going to check in the back and that's what I said to you. And then you started yelling in my face. I never said no to chili flex at all, man. Yeah, then please. Please give us now. Start yelling at you, man. You need to That's delete right. the video or I'm charging you for harassment. Please give us uh, now uh, that. Here, Nobody yes. like, we can charge you yes. for the harassment. I'm and not harassing you. And this is the proof of the video. And you're this is the proof and this is going to the Twitter guys. tomorrow, man. Let's go, guys. Let's go. So in this clip, Walmart Karen calls the cops on two men who just spent $600 at Walmart because rather than check their receipt and match it up against the items that they have, Karen simply assumed that they were stealing. Now, justifiably, one of the men wants Karen to explain why she made that assumption. You were shoplifting or something? Okay. Do you know who placed the call? I do not. Okay, well, it was a store. Yes. So do you know, it was, I mean, it would have been one of your employees. What, what would you like me, what do you need help with? I would like to understand why they were called. Right, that's very simple. Why were the police called with the three people thinking that we were shoplifting? I paid six hundred dollars for my thing, so obviously I, w I didn't shoplift. Mm -hmm. I won't understand why you thought I was shoplifting. You didn't place the call, but one of your employees did. I'd like to know why. Okay. All right. I mean, 
I'm not, that's the standard, right? I'm not being hostile or anything. Because he was, he asked the woman that we pay. I don't care. I mean, if there's the big purchase items, that type of thing, there's usually a question. We just want to make sure. Okay, usually a question. I can understand that. But police being called, I can understand that. Right? You, you, that's usually a question. So maybe the store will ask a question. Or maybe you all follow me. Maybe you follow me around. Sure. But but that's not what happened. The police were called. We're pot, potential shot, which means we, that someone. We call the someone, police all the time. They have our backs. We work okay, well, that's fine. Around. But you call, you didn't call the police. Because you didn't shoplift, you called police because you thought we were shoplifting. I spent $600, I paid my money. I didn't shoplift. Did anybody you say called anything? Them? Did anything say anything? Did anything say anything? Yeah, the officer asked her, did we pay? Okay. So someone did say something. I we did do. pay. But what happened is you called the police while we were still on this side of the store. We were here for over an hour. So you called police when we first really got in here. Okay. Time out. I no, understand. No, we're not going to come out. She's coming up. I hear what okay. you're saying. Sure. Come on. They want to know why the police were called, and they want to talk to the person who did it, and they want to know why they did it. Yeah, why we were profiled, exactly. Oh, I have it. You called? It's my right. It's your right to do what? Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you hear right. So, your right to do what? It's my right to call. Because you thought the three people were shoplifting, why? They didn't say that. You called the police, you said we have a potential shoplifter. So, you did say that. No, I'm recording because you're going to watch tonight. Are you with these guys, sir? No, she's not with us, but she can stay. I, mean, I just want to know. So, sir, to make sure I'm not hostile, I'm not being violent, I just want to know why the store called the police because they thought we were shoplifting. We just purchased a new home, right? We came in because you all are closing. It's a closing sale. I didn't realize it was like a maximum of items you could buy, right? So we were not shoplifting. So this next Karen is a neighbor who seems completely miserable with life and is taking it out on perfectly good blades of grass. To make matters worse, the neighbor loves pushing her buttons, <laughs> which gets Karen really revved up. Reporting me to what? Don't worry, you stand up. I'm not worried about a thing. You don't want me! You stupid girl! You're harassing me right now! What do you think you're doing? I'm not in your yard. Leave you literally are in my yard. Shut up! Literally in my yard. Jack! Call Jack. Get off my fence. Get off of it. Get off of my fence. Get off of my fence. That's assault, Joanne. You can call it whatever you want. You get off of my fence. You get off my yard. This is not your yard, mother. It's not my yard? Well, whose yard is it? It's my Stop. That's all I'm telling you to do is stop. Of my feet. I don't understand why you're ripping up perfectly good grass. Hey, Nick, Nick. Will you get this little off of me? Come on. He's over here with me. Come on in the house. Get him off my feet. Come on in the house. I ain't coming in until I get ready. Look at them nasty rotten toes. You oh, they're so gross. Look at them. Nasty. Look at them. They're gross. Throw your piece of trash. Look at them. You are trashy, mother. Go ahead, come in. In this clip, Walgreens manager male Karen stops a woman and searches her bag. Now, the woman is accusing male Karen of profiling her, which both male Karen and the general manager of the Walgreens deny. But all they had to do, even though they don't have to, all they had to do was give her a reason as to why they stopped her if it wasn't profiling, and that could have gone a long way. I'm going to check my bag. Yes. Here you go. Okay. This is the CVS. Okay. No, you're. Can I speak to your manager? Mm hmm. Who's the manager? Yo. You're the manager? Mm -hmm. Where's your, who's your general manager? I want to speak to your district manager. I need a phone number. Because now you're ra racial profiling me. No, preferentially. Yes, you are. No. Because now you just it checked my bag. It w Clearly, it was nothing in there, but. You're not, I did that for a reason, so I need your manager. I need to speak to the corporate now. Okay. What's your name? Roberto? No, bring it back, friend. Don't Her name is Carmel. What happened? We don't like this. We can. I don't care what you did. Because at the same time, I asked you for a reusable bag and you, was, you had an attitude with me. No, I told you, man. And, and what's your name? My name is Yuri Sestor Mane. How can I help you? You're the, you're the general manager? Yes. Because he said he was the general manager. It's Mane too. 
No, manager and general him, manager is different. Saying, so saying, it was different. What if I had something in my bag which I did not? He literally told me he need to check my bag for what? Because I'm black. Are you too sure? And she what is what color is? I don't her? care about what color, but I'm black. No, so no, no. why that's, is that's, no, no, okay? No, no, so no, now no, I need no, I need I need your corporate number. One eight hundred Walgreens. Why one eight hundred Walgreens? Yes. Okay, you know you would be on TikTok. Facebook, Instagram, okay. you you really don't Perfect. know. No problem. And what's your name again, My Judy? Name is Judy. Okay. Yes. And you said you're the general manager because yes. he told me he was a general manager. He says he's my okay. too. Okay. I got about this because I. So in this clip, loss prevention Karen, who is terrible at her job, confronts a woman who's doing nothing out of the ordinary. She's taking clothes off of hangers and looking at them, and then looking at people who are staring at her. <laughs> The person being Karen staring at her. Ultimately, a woman who works at the store comes and escorts Karen away, probably to fire her. What's your protocol? Because you called them for me, right? Right or wrong? Yeah? Yeah? yeah. yeah. And for what? You dropped for everything. What? Okay, but yes. was anything in my bag? No, no. Okay, yet. so if I had it in my hands, why the f are you calling the police? Mm -hmm. If I did not check, if I don't walk out of the store, why the f are you calling the police? Let me know. Suspicious. How? How am I acting suspicious? How? How? Pulling things off the hangers. Correct. They're going to take them off when I get up there in the first place, yeah, right absolutely. or wrong. Okay, absolutely. so that's a reason to call the police? I didn't call the police. You I did. No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm being suspicious because I'm grabbing items. I'm... If nothing was put in my bag, how the f is that suspicious? Because you're watching me. You're taking I'm watching you. Yeah, I'm absolutely. on the phone walking around. There's more than one f employee here, right or wrong. Absolutely. Right or wrong. So I'm just specifically just watching you? because I know who you are, correct? So this clip takes place in San Diego, California. And a group of guys are upset because everyday vehicles cannot be included in the exotic car show. But ultimately, they just sound like a bunch of entitled Karens who don't want to put in the work to create their own car show and simply just want to piggyback off of this guy's hard work. Why do you even come here? Go to a shopping center. There's plenty of cars. You come here because of the ex exceptional cars. But is it your business? Is it your business where other people drive? But we organized this event to cater to this. Do you understand? It's yes, like, I get what you're coming from. That's, that's fine. And there's a lot of there's why? a lot of exotic cars here, and that's yeah. fine. But why don't you organize your own I event? I say everyone minds their own want. business. Is okay. Is yeah. allowed, sir? Oh. That's not an exotic car. Is he allowed? I don't well, think you should turn anybody away. I think anyone, people everyone should, 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 should be happy with what they have. Like, he's got like well, I guess what? Guess history. what? You, you dilute the event, then the guys that have nice cars don't even come. No, and then man. guess what? The event becomes lousy. That's not true. Yes, okay, it is. So then what you can yeah, do, how, how long have you been coming here? I've been coming here for about a year now. Okay. I've been organizing this for about eight years. That's, that's okay. awesome. All right. So I've been trying to curate it to get the best cars. So for three hours, we can we can have this kind of event. There's... We have the whole county. Yes. They can get together any place else. I, I understand. All right. So there's, no, you there's, don't understand. I do understand. No. I get a car all the time. Why do you come here? Because I like to take photos of all sorts of different cars. There was right, Toyota, right, right. And, but there's 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 different walks of all life here, man. Like no. there's there's old Japanese cars that park over there that right. I like to take photos of. Good. And and they're they're trashy. Tell you what, bro. you like them? To organize your own event no, someplace that's, else. That's yes. not right, yes, man. It is. That's not right. Just, you know how many events there are in San Diego County? You counting? shouldn't turn any car people away, dude. That's yeah. just, that's ruining the car community in general. It's not, we're not, no, nobody's we're, I'm, ruining I'm not your community. We're promoting the car community here. We're promoting supercars, hypercars, rare cars, vintage cars. That's not right. Yes, no, it is. It's our I, thing. I, I disagree, man. I don't care. I don't that's care. fine. Well, I mean, they can drive through here, they can park wherever they want. It's public. So yeah. if you, if, what, but don't. What, here's my feedback to you, and I don't want to hear your opinion. If you want an event with those kind of cars, you organize it wherever you want and then go enjoy yourself. Just this, don't bother us. This that's is a it. good way to turn away a lot of people who want to support good, this good, kind of stuff. Good, good, good. That's, exactly that's good. awful. Ultimately, with a lot of Karens, they want to control situations. And that's exactly what's happening here. But listen closely to the trivial nonsense that they're arguing about. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> it has something to do with putting mulch next to a tree in a retirement community. Oh, 
to move my play. stuff, my birthday. Hurry up. That's right. You had the nerve to steal my tomatoes for so many years. Steal your tomatoes. tomatoes. And this one can't keep her hands off my hose. The hose. <laughs> what, a what do you want, Pop? Dude, an ignorant son of a bitch. As long as you got okay. approval, oh, it doesn't yes, matter. There's I got verbal approval from Carl. Don't mulch here. We don't want it here. Okay. She says she. I talked to the company and they did not approve of it. Okay, what am I doing? Yes, yes. Please get here right away. Right, they're on their way. All right, they're on their way. All right, thank you. Thank you. They'll be here in a second. We need this aggravation like we need a hole in the head. Yes. I don't need your aggravation either, the two of you. Yeah, well, just the, the two of you. Yeah, but, yeah, but you don't have a right to do this. Why do you don't own this place? Yeah, you don't, yeah. You don't own this place. You live here. Hello? We're going to get you thrown out of here. Okay, get yes, it's an apartment yeah, complex, and she wants to put mulch here, and, and she has no authorization to do I this. I do have authorization. <laughs> We're outside. We're in the in the back. Just pull in, and you'll see us back here, to the left, to the right. Excuse me. Moving my you assaulted me. me. You assaulted me. Assault and me. I call you a cop myself. I saw. Yes. Well, I touch. No, but you're not allowed. Touch any of these things. Hello? Hello. Hi, uh, we're in Woodcliffe Lake. You just got a call no, about this? She, she was I coming was back assaulted here and we just by the told time her to call. stop doing this. I mean, I mean she, she's I live ready to dump seven and I'm here. outside on here. Broadway also. Here. There's a tree guy trying to drop some chips here. I got authorization from Community okay. Housing and Partnership. His name is Carl, and he works for Alba, Velasquez. And Denise and Dennis are out here. Dennis put his hands on me three times. Oh, you're full. Oh, stop the put my hands on you. It happened. She saw it. She saw it, and he saw it. So fuck. Hello? 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 So once again, Karens will find opportunities to Karen. Just like criminals find opportunities to commit crimes, Karens look for access and opportunity, and that's what's happening here. Karen is freaking out because a delivery driver or delivery biker is riding his bike on the sidewalk instead of the road. But look at those teeny weeny wheels on that bike. You think that would survive a road? Brace yourself for this one, folks. Karen has an emergency. You see, a woman has committed the heinous crime of sitting on a private bench, which is in Karen's condo space. Yeah, that's it. On a park bench. It's not a park bench, you dumb. It belongs to the condo. I live here. This is private property. Glad so, you're on videotape. That's what's good. wrong with this world. That's people what's wrong like with this you. World, like you and I hope you pick on. up after your dog. That's alright, I got you on video. Go ahead. Believe me, I know who runs this. Yeah, all okay. of these buildings, so don't okay. you worry. We'll see. Mess with the wrong person. Let's call 911 to see how fast. Move. How fast? I'm, you're gonna call 911 because I sat on a park bench it's a park of bench. where it's I park? work. It's condo. Of where, where work? I work. Where right work? there. Stupid. You got that a problem? Does not belong to this business. That's all I need to hear. Okay. That's well, all I need see. to hear. Hi. Um, Cambridge. Can I have Cambridge Police, please? 
You are. Um, 217 Covent Ave. I have someone invading our property and I asked her. Don't worry, you know what? I have better things to do because I work and you probably don't. Oh, okay. So I am going back into my job. Okay. I'm so glad I am taping your inconsiderate. In this clip, Karen visits a nail salon and, in true pre-rehearsed fashion, is unhappy with her nails. So what happens? Well, Karen doesn't have to pay. The Academy Award goes to Karen. You kind of weird. I don't want to leave you anymore. Dear God in heaven, what did you say? Let me cut off your nail and then cut your nails. I don't want you to do your nail anymore. Oh my God! Nail. No. What he just did? I cut your nail. I don't want you to do your nail anymore. I'm ex trying to express something to him. No. What is wrong with him? But I mean, I mean I, this I, is I, unacceptable. Any time you need to pay me, and then do the last time work. I came in, he said, "No, no. Yes. you are not going to overpower me. No, don't disrespect okay. me. Can you leave here? I don't want you to do your Don't nail. disrespect me. Okay. The last time I came in here." You know, because I come in, you know I come in and get my nails done. And he said, just remember, next time it's going to cost you $50. Because we're going to do a new set. Mm -hmm. So I put, I, I, I put $50. Hold on, hold on. I did. I put $50 plus his tip in my purse. Hold on, let me explain. Please, take your cat to her. That's cute. Don't leave me like that. I don't know what you're doing anymore. Oh, my God. Because I told you I couldn't afford it? Yeah. $70? I can't it? afford it. Who said charge me $7? Who charge me $70? You said I'm going to have to charge you another five no? for the length. Yes. I said we're cutting them short. And you said, well, it's still long. I'm going to charge you another $5. Yes. The land you need to pay me. I can help you for a long day, but you don't pay. Because the man will It's okay. Yes. Fifty dollar for the new set, and she yes. got the removed old one and no. long length. I've been in San Antonio seventeen years. I've been putting a whole set on. Seventeen years here. Because never, I just never this, never. Every salon in Los Angeles, and now go we pick everything the price. I don't want to be upset. No, no, I, I, I don't want to be upset. This is this is unacceptable. Like this, ever, not ever. Anytime you're 